This film has a strong script with believable, interesting characters. It's very well acted, it's beautifully shot and edited, and it leaves me wanting more. Yes, it was good that you can see these topics being addressed in the film. I can see that it was definitely challenging for the protagonist to live the life that she was living. I like the, it was a cool uh, short film. This one left me feeling like, what is normal? Who is to say that the definition of normalcy is correct? Um, my heart goes out to the character whose family treats her like Judas when she reveals her sexuality, tries to baptize her, and then watches on with prejudice as she uh, endured a toxic relationship just to satisfy them. Um, this narrative repeats itself far too often in society, so I do hope that the, the ending means that she's truly ready to be cleansed uh, and be honest with herself. Love was interesting. It was because of its controversy of religion. She was trying to show how difficult it is. And the whole movie was trying to say. I think it's a pretty realistic film that anyone can relate to and just say, yeah, that's my situation. That sucks. So how can we work it out? Yeah, it makes you think. Um, I really like this film. Uh, I thought there was excellent symbolism uh, between, you know, the contrast between baptism and drowning. Um, it made clear that, you know, with many faiths, uh, it's not about uplifting people and, you know, allowing people to live their truth. It's more about controlling them with shame and, and uh, trying to keep them uh, in the box that is going to be acceptable to other members of the faith. So I thought this was uh, really well done. I look forward to seeing you guys do more work in the future. Very much was enamored with the juxtaposition of the light and the darkness um, between her real or past, or past rather, life, as well as the one she's living now in sort of more fake or pretend reality. I liked the images of flooding, uh, but rather than liked, I was just kind of gutted by them. It was heart-wrenching, um, really well done in combining all of the shots to make this true story and getting a picture of the inside of the person's head. This was very well done. The inner cutting with the water I thought was so intense, and it really did build to a point, and at the very, very end, you just don't know, like, what's going to happen after they both like turn and see each other and I thought that that was really interesting because it had spent the whole thing building and building and building and you don't really know what happened between those two points of like the last time that we saw her like in a flashback to her seeing her at the end of it I was like but what happened next like like what like how did they get to that point first of all, and second of all, like, what's gonna happen now that she's turned and saw her, like, and so I think that that was, like, really well done, it's like an eight minute film, and it got me engaged enough that at the end I was like, but what happens next, like, I really wanted to know, so I thought that that was really well done, and I really liked the subtlety of using the lighting and, like, the outfits themselves, and the, like, background colors um that are in the sh in the shots uh using that for tone and like helping set the tone i thought was really well done this was re very well done the i like the um the contrast between the kind of the her time with the with her um female partner and the time with her male partner um the female partner was just so bright and colorful and exciting and the other one was so stark and harsh and um, really painted that contrast well. I think the thing I thought was so good about this was the final shot. The final shot said so much and the, the cut to black was very effective.